Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you my micro TN. Who would have thought that I would move into a micro TN? But don't worry, I still use my pocket size. This is my main planner, whereas my micro TN is my wallet. Now, I do want to give you a little background story why I chose a micro TN to be my wallet. So, I had my wallet set up in a Filofax uh, pocket size. I was using it you know for two years and I was quite happy with it but there were some things that was falling apart not the file effects but the inserts if you guys know about pocket file effects then you know the card inserts are really ridiculous because they're top loading and um, it's really hard to access your cards and the plastic inserts are not that good quality so they do start to rip after a, after a few while the top loading card insert was a huge problem for me because I didn't I, I was always constantly worrying that my card could come out anyway so I was so tired of my file effects that I moved all my content in a generic wallet I bought one from Primark and I just thought well I need to figure out a TN size and a TN configuration for my wallet but meanwhile I will use a generic wallet but I wasn't happy with the generic um, wallet again it just was not my kind of thing personally I love men's wallet anyway so I was thinking about making a pocket size traveler's notebook into a wallet now with that being said I was thinking what sort of inserts I want in my wallet and every time I get an insert and I think about it I didn't like the configuration so much so that I didn't go ahead and make a pocket size traveler's notebook into a wallet I made a micro TN for my friend Lisa um, I made it for her in January and I sent it to her and I asked her what do you use it for um, I like the size I love it but I really don't know what you could use it for and she said she uses it as a wallet so I was quite intrigued and I said okay now you have to show me pictures because I need to know exactly how you use it and she did send me pictures and all that a micro size tin is a perfect size um, for wallet almost like the credit card size it was like a realization for me that hang on a minute I think I can do this I've been thinking of what sort of inserts I need to put inside my micro tin and I finally figured it out so I'm just gonna show you my micro tn isn't it cute look at look at the size of this it fits in my hand and um you know it's lovely i love it so much honestly it took me less than 10 pound to have all this configuration so people buy the wallet insert from etsy right so i was looking on etsy trying to find a wallet insert that i would like now sellers from the uk i didn't like what they were doing um, I, I didn't find anything that I liked so I looked from sellers from abroad like USA and other places now I did find some sellers who make really cute inserts and um, I was almost willing to get them but the price of the insert is about roughly about 15 to 20 pound and then on on top of that there is additional 8 to 10 pound for shipping and that's where I was like, I really don't want to spend £30 or so for a fabric. On top of that, I don't know that whether I would like it or not. Um, this is all just an experiment and I didn't want to shell out that much money and then not like it at the end. I can put 30 quid for a leather binder or something, but I can't put it for a fabric insert I didn't want to spend that much money and when you don't want to spend that much money or you don't have that much money that's when you start being creative so I kept thinking okay what can I put in my um, micro size TN that can allow it to function as a wallet and to be honest it's the size of a credit card so I thought okay so I need to look for inserts that fits a credit card and I went on eBay now the first insert I looked for I will show you here is this one this insert is basically called credit card insert. I'll put a link down below where you can get this from. It didn't cost me that much, it was only two pound. By the way, this is just one string traveler's notebook. I didn't put more than one. With a wallet, you need a coin pouch. So I needed a coin pouch, but I didn't know how I'm gonna have a coin pouch, but what am I gonna have on the other side? Because on Etsy, people are making fabric inserts where they have coin pouch in one side and 
card holders on the other side. So I, I really thought about it and um, I figured it out uh, when I was almost falling asleep. I always get good ideas when I'm almost falling asleep. It's just one of those things. I thought, hang on a minute, if I buy two of them, I could loop it through um, the, uh, the card insert. So that's exactly what I've done. I was still wondering how am I going to do a piggyback. Now I was thinking about buying black duct tape so when I buy the duct tape, I can use um, duct tape to piggyback both of this, just like how you would do in a, what's it called, a dashboard. And I thought, okay, that could work, that's why I ordered black coin pouches. Then I kept thinking about it and it, and it just hit me. Hang on a second, it's faux leather. And I thought, I could just punch holes in it and use a string to loop it through. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So this is what happened. So I bought two coin pouches, um, I will leave a link down below where I got it from, I got it from China by the way, they cost me £1.50 each. This is what I use, I use an owl, if you make inserts for your traveller's notebook then you must have one of these lying about, or if you don't just buy it from eBay, it's so cheap, it's only a pound. What I did is I went through my um, pouch and basically punched holes in it. I did it for both of the coin pouches, so I did it at the top and at the bottom, and then I have one millimeter thick elastic that I um, put it through it, basically. So now I have it all piggybacked, which is exactly what I wanted, and it lays flush against the leather cover. Credit card insert, I just put it in here, and then I got this in the mail, which I was waiting for for ages, but it arrived within two weeks, I want to say. This is exactly what my wallet is. So I'm so happy with my wallet. I love how it makes a jingly noise. Now I will show you what I have in my wallet. So in this um, insert in the first compartment, I have my um, bank card that I use the most. And I, I love that I can keep my credit cards and bank cards in a contained insert and not just top loading insert so I f it feels more secure for me and in here I keep my other uh, bank cards two other bank cards and I've got an oyster card and just another royalty card from works and I also keep cash so here I have got my rail card provisional driver's license and my NI card and then I've got Costa card uh, boots card and super drug card. So these are all the uh, royalty cards and um, travel cards and stuff that I carry with me all the time. And in this pouch, the final pouch, I have all my coins. And here I have um, a nail file. I like to keep a nail file. I carry one everywhere with me. And I've got some bandages and a rare $2 note for luck. Alright, so this is my wallet setup. Isn't it cool? I just love that this is just a wallet. There's no paper inserts or anything like that. I didn't put any notebooks or pen because I know this is purely just a wallet. I don't want it to be a notebook. If I need a notebook, I have got my pocket size traveler's notebook with me everywhere. So usually I carry this and my wallet with me and now both of them are traveler's notebook which I absolutely love. Just to let you know this leather is from Leather for Craft from a UK shop. I highly encourage you guys to make your own traveler's notebook especially a micro TN. Anyone can make this. It's so tiny and so small and um, you can't make mistakes with it really. You just have to cut the right panel um, and then put the holes in the right place and loop some strings. It's that easy. This whole wallet set up with the insets and everything cost me about £10. I would say less than £10 to make this whole functional wallet. And I love that this is just a wallet and nothing else. If you guys are interested in making your own traveller's notebook, I will leave a link down below to my blog post um, and it is about things to consider before you make a traveller's notebook. So I think if you if you want to make one, then please read my blog post. I think it will help you a lot, um, especially with making templates and stuff. I think that can come really handy. Just before I go, I do want to mention that this leather is not thick. It's really thin. I would say 1.5 millimeters, but it is a stiff leather. And the pattern on it is so beautiful. I wish you guys could smell it as well. It's out of this world smell. <laughs> um, I love leather smell. Um, Vegetan leather always have a really good leather smell. But this one, somehow, it smells like new leather shoes or new leather bag. I don't know, something about this leather smells way nice than uh, normal Vegetan. I'll leave all the links down below so if you want to replicate 
exactly how I have done it then feel free to do it if you guys have any questions about how I actually looped the strings and so on or if you want me to completely take it apart and show you exactly what I have done leave a comment below I'll try my best to show you exactly what I've done here um, but it's it's pretty self-explanatory like I've showed you the hardest bit is this this two piggybacking this two and once you get that then that's it really then you just put the credit card insert in the middle anyways guys thank you so much for watching my video um, thank you so much for stopping by please subscribe and I will see you next time bye